Hey guys, we uh, reviewed two films so far. We hope you've seen them, Skyfall and uh, Prisoners. And right now we're going to make a short video and we're just going to talk about how we score these things. Yeah, so uh, you're probably curious how we're coming up with these you know, out of 100 scores. And that is based on this um, standardized value, movie valuation scale um, that is it's conceived by me and definitely a lot of input by him so that we could come out come up with a... Uh, Weighted system. So it is based on 11 different factors that we think are extremely important and needed in every movie ever. You know, ranging from horror to action to comedy, you know, you yeah. name it. And it doesn't depend on the genre. Yeah, it doesn't depend on the genre at all. Um, and we think that these 11 factors are the most important. And then we also have then ranked their importance amongst themselves. Okay? And so. Um, do you want to run through it? Yeah, let's run through it. Yeah, so at the top, we've got acting. Uh, second, we've got storyline slash plot. Third, we've got development slash structure. Fourth, we've got style. Fifth, we've got empathy slash emotion. Sixth, we've got dialogue. Seven, we've got soundtrack. Eight, we've got creativity. Nine, we've got closure. Ten, we've got cinematography. Eleven, we've got promotion slash hype. Yeah. Um, and this and that, that would mean like trailers and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, and this list, um, you know, it took us a few to get all these, all these uh, criteria down, and I feel very strongly about it. Um, I really yeah. like the order that we've done this in, and there was a lot of discussion and prep for us to really figure out everything that made a movie watchable, and we even considered throwing in entertainment value. But what I realized when we were doing this is, if a movie has these aspects, and this, you know, ranging from acting being the most important to the marketing and promotion being the least, it should be an entertaining movie. It's going to be entertaining. Yeah, and, and so how the system works, you know, so each of those factors is ranked based on what we think is most important. So then we also give a number to, you know, which is a becomes a multiplier, and then we can figure out hey, you know, acting is worth, you know, six points on the system and storyline and plot is only worth 5.5 and cinematography is only worth two points. And so we've figured out the system based on how much we think that specific item matters by itself to a movie. Yeah. Um, and so we then look at each of these on their own, each factor, like acting, exclusively acting, how was the acting in the movie? One to ten, can't give a zero, otherwise the multiplication factor doesn't work. So one to, one being the worst, ten being the best. We say, you know, acting was a nine out of ten, okay? And then we then multiply it by that weight factor on how important acting is. So then that would be, if it's a nine, then we multiply nine times six and we get 54. Yeah, and then we add it up and divide it by the total possibility that all those scores being perfect can be. On the weighted system. Yeah. On the weighted system. And so all of the, um, like out of... All the possible points, a perfect score would be a 390 out of 390, okay? And so we then figure out, you know, Skyfall in my, in my book was 348 out of 390, which is an 89.23. That was 283. So that's, that's how we're figuring that out. And um, we like to offer that as our overall score, but then I think offering an overall opinion is, is also necessary because, you know, did you really like it? Would you watch it again? There's that that kind of yeah. thing where where you know you can't you can't really throw that into a system. You can't um, fill so, all that in. Yeah, so we're attempting to standardize a you know an art form. You know, it's like the most subjective thing, and so we're trying to break it down and, and rip out emotion out of it, and trying to be as objective as possible. Yeah, and then you know putting things like empathy and emotion, how much we as an audience empathize with the movie and how much like we we feel attached to the characters and that kind of thing we take that out of like the acting category and then we put it in its own category and the biggest thing about this system is you know why we give it the score we give it this isn't we don't watch a movie we don't get too emotionally involved and we don't say you know i'm giving this a b minus or i'm giving yeah. this a four out of five not some overall not some overall subjective this is mathematical it's a little more mathematical. It's completely standardized, and it we have reasons for giving it the score we give it. It's a calculated number, yeah. and I think I'm really I'm really happy to do this. And we're gonna post just one of these, and we're not gonna let y'all see it again, just so you can see we've done our homework and you how you, so you can see how we do it. Yeah. Um, um and yeah, that's it. And you know, if you want to hear us discuss more movies with this scale, um, we hope to be in. Uh, 
alternative to a lot of the uh, reviews out there, including um, some of the more well-known systems in place so that, you know, you have something to compare it to and, and you have, you know, something that's not really influenced by culture or, or anything else. It's just, you know, quality movie or not quality movie mathematically. Absolutely. And you guys, feel free to comment. Let us know what you think of this uh, scaling rating. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah. See you on our next review. Yeah. Please subscribe.